it takes so much time to be able to create stickiness with a customer. And you think about it, like customers that you spend all this time and effort to market, and then they, they're on the site and they say they have a, a great experience and everything works well, the chance of them coming back is high. And the chance of them spending more is higher when that occurs. And when you think about the second trip back, the third trip back, you're, you're starting to work up this, this ladder of, uh, uh, of stickiness, right? Like you have customers that are gonna move from a base customer to potentially an advocate for the brand, the better you do. But think of think the latter example is an interesting one. You're climbing rung by rung, you, you get something that goes bad. Like I, I always joke about like a, uh, some of the most disruptive stuff in home improvement is, is appliance delivery, right? Because oh, if I'm getting a new refrigerator, it probably means my old refrigerator doesn't work. So I'm living out of a cooler or something for a period of time, or my stove doesn't work. I can't cook. So I've got like a barbecue in the back that I'm just using for every meal. Those types of things, you're, you are invested in the purchase decision that you made with that company. And if that company lets you down, the pain you feel with that delivery not working, my refrigerator doesn't show up. I'm living out of a cooler for another week or two or three if my stove doesn't show up or say it does show up and it's the wrong size or it's the the connections don't work or it didn't come with the 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 things that needed to be able to properly pipe it to the wall all of those things come into that experience aesthetic and no matter how good it list, it, it was online if that thing in my house isn't up and running and working and my life is back to normal well it, it falls back on the experience uh, to the to the brand in general 